What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I'm gonna check out some more shocking news about the whole Vince McMahon uh, lawsuit, Brock Lesnar being erased in WWE games, and other WrestleMania 40 news. Should be very interesting by WrestleMania. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. We're gonna get right into this one because I'm sure y'all trying to figure out what's going on as well it is wrestlemania here back with some more news join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including could vince mcmahon now be imprisoned john laurinaitis says that he is the victim brock lesnar being erased from wwe games and canceled plan i think i did hear a report of that that now john laurinaitis is the victim that's very interesting and Tori Wilson was mortified by bikini matches. Rikishi wants Jacob Fatu in WWE and much mm. more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for could be very lists. interesting. Also check out our channel, WrestleMania Shorts, where we're now posting shorts. I believe I heard uh, Jacob Fatu is now a free agent too. Mm. Videos, analysis of the intro and get straight into our first story. Now, first story looks at more fallout from the Vince McMahon lawsuit. On top of today's news are more reports concerning the recent lawsuit filed against Vince McMahon, John Laurinaitis, and the WWE. It appears the lawsuit is having a domino effect, not only with the parties being sued, but the WWE's plans for WrestleMania. So, could Vince McMahon be in prison now? Mm. There's breaking news concerning Vince McMahon as the Wall Street Journal is reporting federal authorities have been investigating sexual assault and trafficking allegations uh -oh. against WWE co-founder Vince McMahon, That's not good. according to people familiar with the investigation. Prosecutors in New York in recent months have been in contact with women who have accused McMahon of sexual misconduct, the people said. The Journal reported elaborated on the federal search warrant executed last summer as well mm -hmm. as a subpoena issued to McMahon. Over the summer, federal agents executed a search warrant from McMahon's phone and delivered a subpoena to him for documents related to any allegation of rape, sex trafficking, sexual assault, commercial sex transactions, harassment or discrimination against current or former WWE employees. Next up, a shocking development yep it's not looking too good it's like once the hits start going they start piling up you start getting hit from other directions and here's the thing we still don't know how true these things are but it's not looking too good for vince and vince is out of history of you know kind of pushing his weight around now he's in a situation where he can't do that and uh it's not looking good it's not WWE TKO they're doing their best to distance themselves from him and that's very telling you know sponsors don't want to be involved with a company that has their top guy having some horrible allegations these are not even something slight these are appalling stuff so even if it's not true it don't look good and you got to find a way to really prove that what's being said isn't true and right now, he's made a lot of enemies. And I think that's what's hurting him too. The perception of Vince is this guy that, you know, does what he want, does, you know, does what he want to whoever he wants because he has the power, he has the money, he has the influence. We've seen that. Hell, that's why he's the biggest, he has the biggest, or well, had, and created the biggest wrestling company in the world because of that mentality. He took whatever he want. He took over the territories and there was nothing no one could do about it because he had the money. Even if he promised them, you know, I'm not going to do this and that and this. It was all a lie. That's Vince. So I don't know. In the Vince McMahon lawsuit, in related news, there's a shocking development in the previously discussed lawsuit by former WWE employee Janelle Grant. Uh -oh. Laurinaitis' defense attorney, Edward Brennan, recently told Vice News that Mr. Laurinaitis denies the allegations in of the course. misguided complaint and will be vigorously defending these charges in court, not the media. Like the plaintiff, Mr. Laurinaitis is a victim in this case, not a predator. The truth will come out. If you read the complaint, you may be baffled by Laurinaitis' attorney arguing that the defendant was a victim. However, he's arguing, read the allegations, read the federal statute, power, control, employment, supervisory capacity, tutorial sexual demands with repercussions if not met. Count how many times in the claim Vince asserts control over both of them. Now, while we aren't making a legal mm. opinion, it sounds like Laurinaitis is claiming that he had no choice but to give in to Vince McMahon's alleged demands. And that's crazy how he's kind of like low-key throwing Vince under the bus to kind of save himself. Like, nah, I'm not saying Vince did this, but 
the same time, you know, I I, I kind of had to do what Vince told me to. Hmm. Really, John Laurinaitis. Really, John Boy. Really, people power. Really, you you had to. Okay. Whether or not Laurinaitis can prevail with his claim in court should prove interesting. Hmm. One thing is worth noting, many observers believe that Laurinaitis' defense could impact any case against McMahon as Laurinaitis appears to be backing up Janelle Grant's claims against McMahon. Yeah. Although this isn't conclusive proof of the allegations, it could prove problematic to McMahon's defense. Next up, Brock. Which is crazy if, it, if John Laurinaitis just <laughs> decides to make it seem as if this was all Vince's plan. That's... That's crazy. When you getting faced with some prison time or getting fra faced with some backlash and ridicule, you'd be you'd be surprised how how quick people that are quote unquote y'all this close y'all would never separate you. He always have your back, or she always have your back, only for them to stab you in the back to to save their own. So I don't know. It's gonna be very interesting to see how these uh this whole situation plays out. Brock Lesnar is being erased from WWE games. Now, the uh, fallout from the lawsuit against Vince McMahon not continues as Brock Lesnar has disappeared from the WWE Supercard Online game. PW Insider's Mike Johnson reports this is just the start as Lesnar is expected to vanish from other licensed products such as the WWE 2K series. It would appear that 2K as a licensee for WWE is following the company's lead after WWE banked off on using Lesnar last weekend at the Royal Rumble event. Lesnar was slated to return and begin his WrestleMania season storyline, but in the wake of the Janelle Grant lawsuit filed against WWE, Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis several days before, we are told the company chose to withdraw Lesnar's involvement. Although Lesnar is not being sued, he allegedly made what PW Insider described as disgusting requests from Miss Grant. Yeah. Consequently, Lesnar appears to be persona non grata with Mike Johnson adding, Going forward, PWInsider.com has been told by sources familiar to the matter that we should expect to see Lesnar downplayed, if not outright removed as he was in the Supercard game, as much as possible going forward by 2K and potential other licensees. Damn, Dave Meltzer bro. reported earlier this week that Lesnar may be done entirely with the WWE and added in this week's Observer, there are no plans at this time to use Lesnar. Given his star power, saying this is forever is probably foolish, but it's likely not going to be anytime soon. Yeah. Lesnar has been the company's first or second highest paid wrestler and one of its most protected stars for the past dozen years. And the fact that he's out of WrestleMania and his future is in jeopardy is amazing because of how little attention it's gotten. Meltzer noted that WWE's plans for Lesnar was to appear in the Rumble, then face Dominic Mysterio Elimination mm -hmm. Chamber, and this would have mirrored the scenario where Dominic eliminated Braun Breaker, then challenged Gunther for the Intercontinental mm -hmm. Championship at WrestleMania 40. Also in an update by PW Insider, WWEShop.com has placed 99% of all merchandise related to Brock Lesnar on discount sale. Wow. In speaking to WWE sources today, we are told that going forward, Lesnar is off the table from all creative pitches. Ooh. Is this really the end of Brock Lesnar? Wow, Next up, W. Bro. All because Vince allegedly tried to pass this woman off to him. And the thing is, they didn't even mention his name. They just said a former UFC champion, and that by process of elimination, it was over. They mentioned the date of this potential star returning back to the company. It was over that SummerSlam weekend. That's when he came back to confront Roman Reigns after he had been gone for a while. And I'm just like, oh, that's crazy. All because Vince was allegedly trying to use her as a bargaining chip to get uh, Brock to sign. Like, hey, you can have this woman whenever you want. That's, that's. And nothing even happened between them other than her sending a video of herself peeing and him enjoying that said video. Nothing actually even took place in his legacy in WWE is being tarnished as we, well, it's looking tarnished. They're removing him. <laughs> Potentially from the games and his merchandise. They're just trying to get rid of the merchandise. Trying to make some type of buck off of it. But, you know, that's kind of questionable too. You know, you would think they would just take all his merch off. But they dropped it off half price or whatever to sell whatever they still have left in stock. But it's like, if you really stand by that cause, you would just not sell none of his merch. But, it's, you know, that's, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. WWE changes the time of WrestleMania. 
Now, speaking of WrestleMania, it seems that WrestleVotes has reported that WWE has made the call to change WrestleMania's start time. Mm. WrestleVotes recently tweeted, Sources states WWE has made the decision to change the WrestleMania start time. The main card will now begin at 7 p.m. Eastern time, presumably with a kickoff show oh. starting at 5 p.m. Eastern time. This will be for both nights oh, wow. of WrestleMania. It's going to start now, earlier. This will be a huge W for all fans. Yeah. I'm talking about UK fans as well, as we'll now be watching WrestleMania an hour earlier. WrestleMania is long. We could be up until like 5 a.m. sometimes, and then we got to actually do the work. Next up is Seth. Oh, that's awesome. So it's going to be 6 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. That's our time. That's not bad. That means it should probably end 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Roughly like around 10, because usually the pay-per-views, they usually start 7 our time. They don't end to usually like 11 o'clock. Oh, wait, now that's when they usually end our time. So, and that's not including the media scrums after that. So, yeah, that's that's not bad. In like around 10-ish or whatnot, that's that's actually not bad. I'm I'm okay with that. Hell, maybe they can start incorporating that with some of the, the regular pay-per-views, kind of pushing it up a little bit earlier to like 6 p.m. I'm... I think I'm cool. I think that would be a cool little sweet spot where it's not too late for everybody in the States, but, you know, a decent amount of time. Rollins versus Cody Rhodes happening at WrestleMania. Now, it appears that CM Punk's recent injury, along with Brock Lesnar being pulled from the Royal Rumble, has created a domino effect for the WWE's original plans for WrestleMania 40. At least that's how Dave Meltzer is describing things. Meltzer is reporting in this week's Observer that, regarding the obvious rumor that would have come out of Raw on 29th January, since they had Rollins heavily push Rhodes to choose him, it could result in a situation where Rollins vs Rhodes would headline one night and Reigns vs Rock would headline the other. If that was the case, it would have been a decision made after Punk was injured. Meltzer mused that fans should know the answer to this soon. We don't have an answer to this at press time, and we're only told the answer to that question is about to be revealed sooner than later, and in fact, very shortly after this published, which would indicate either on SmackDown or just before or after the show. Mm. It appears that this year's WrestleMania could see one of the mm. biggest shakeups to the card in the event's history. As for The Rock vs. Roman at WrestleMania 40, Dave Meltzer is reporting there are still discussions of booking the match in Saudi Arabia so the WWE and The Rock can get more money from the Saudi government mm. for hosting it there. Next up, Tori Wilson says she was more... Yeah, let's just keep it Cody, Roman, call it a day. Just Cody, Roman, call it a day. I, I love the points that Seth made. It was really good. But no. Someone had a horrendous idea putting Seth and Roman and Cody in a triple threat match and put both titles on them? No, bro. We just came from that. We literally just dealt with a unification match to go back to another unification match? No. Cody, Roman, finish the story. We can move forward. Shit, you can have Drew go against Seth. You can have Gunther go against Seth. <clears throat> Don't matter. Just... Cody, Roman, finish the fucking story. You can have The Rock and Roman at any other time. If you want to do it at WrestleMania, do it at next year's WrestleMania. The fucking end. Jeez. Mortified by bikini matches. Tori Wilson is opening up about her bikini matches in WWE and how it not only affected her, but other divas. Wilson recently spoke with Chris Van Vliet and shared her recollections of what it was like doing bikini matches. They were all mortifying. People don't realize. I went out there and owned it the best I could and pushed through the fear, but it was mortifying. There were times that I remember specifically a house show that I was in this bikini showdown with Dawn Marie and Sable and someone else. Wilson explained that she wasn't the only person involved in the match that was negatively affected. I was standing in the corner watching one of the girls dance in the middle and literally fighting back the tears. Like I cannot believe I'm doing this right now because Damn. it got to like a raunchy point and I'm like, I don't want to be a part of this, but that was also my job. Van Vliet asked Wilson why she didn't say no to doing the matches with the WWE Hall of Famer answering, no, it was twice that I could remember that I said no. First of all, I'm a major people pleaser, so to say no to people is really hard, even if it's someone you know. I'm recovering from that. Wilson said she did refuse to wear body paint, as Sable famously did. As for posing for Playboy, Wilson had no problem doing it, noting, I thought it's photos, I know it's gonna look good and it's Playboy. To be honest, this is gonna sound real dumb, but I hadn't really even thought about the fact that I was kinda gonna be nude because Playboy was such a popular magazine. I was like, this is gonna be awesome, right? Playboy parties and all that? Wilson said the photo shoot was awkward at times as there were people in the room besides the photographer. She said she drew the line when Vince McMahon asked her to participate in the Playboy pay-per-view, which she described as very hardcore pressed. Next up, Rhea Ripley ready for- <laughs> Here's the thing. She probably does have some- 
let me get clear my throat so I can really explain this or explain my thoughts. She probably had some real gripes about those bra and panty matches. I mean, when we was watching those as young kids, we're just like, whoa, this is, whoa, this is wild. But when you really look back and think about that, that shit was degrading. If you really want to be honest, and I'm glad they don't do that. I know some of you simps would love it. I'm so glad they treat, you know, for the most part, the women wrestlers as talent, as people that can bring some entertainment outside of showing their body. I'm really, I am proud of that. That is something to be okay with progressing with. So I do believe that a lot of them, I'm willing to bet they didn't want to do that shit. Some of them probably did and loved it. A lot of them probably didn't. But guess what? It's been recorded. It's been documented from other female wrestlers. If Vince wanted you to do it, it's either you do it or you're done. What are you to do? You got bills to pay for. You got families to take care of. It sucks. The whole Playboy stuff, I don't know if I really buy that too much because everyone knew what Playboy was about. That's why she said, I know it's going to sound dumb. It did because that makes no sense. It's one of those things where it's like, you don't want to be in bra and panties in a ring again with other people watching. Cool, but you're okay with being in bra and panties in a Playboy magazine where other guys are buying to watch and or you want to be a part of those Playboy mansion parties because, you know, a lot of people heard them. Them parties were pretty wild. And if you was invited, you was somebody and, you know, they, they got a little wild. So. I'm going to call a little bit of cap on that last statement, but y'all let me know how y'all think. Or For feel about anything it. or anyone at Elimination Chamber, the current women's champion Rhea Ripley has a huge homecoming ahead of her as the yeah. WWE brings its Elimination Chamber PLE to Rhea's Australian hometown of Perth. The Eradicator recently commented on how she would feel about defending her title against five other wrestlers in the Elimination Chamber match. I've done it before, let's be honest here, I love a bit of brutality. Give me some steel, give me some weapons, give me some pods, I don't care, I love all that stuff, I live for this. Rhea recently expressed her desire to defend the title against Bayley in an Iron Woman match at WrestleMania 40. However, a new report suggests Ripley will defend the championship against Nia at Elimination Chamber. Mm -hmm. This makes some sense following Jax's attack on Ripley on the 29th January Raw. As for Ripley versus Bayley, the current belief is that Becky Lynch will challenge Ripley mm -hmm. at WrestleMania 40 while Bayley fights Io Sky. Mm -hmm. Who would you guys like to see Ripley battle at Elimination Chamber and WrestleMania 40? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Ricky. I actually do have a video talking about that. Uh, Rhea and in Australia, potentially, most likely going against Nia Jax. I have a separate video talking about that. Uh, I'm going to drop that relatively soon because I definitely wanted to kind of get y'all opinion on certain things and where they could take the story with Rhea going into WrestleMania. She argues it's time for WWE to hire Jacob Fatu. Mm. Should the WWE hire free agent Jacob Fatu, aka the Samoan Werewolf? Rikishi is making the case on X, arguing Jacob Fatu, if you know then you know, has been the baddest talented indie worker on the scene. It's time. Who will sign him? WWE or AEW? He's been ready. He's had a successful run in Major League Wrestling as the mm -hmm. company's longest reigning world champion and he's also kept busy on the indie circuit and in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And finally, Kathy Kelly's Raw Reunion. That would be very interesting. Um, I, I, I've heard the rumors that one of the things that's hurting him potentially getting into WWE is because of his uh, criminal history. Um, but I do feel like, depending on what it is, and obviously it seems like he's been focusing on the wrestling, I think people deserve to have, deserve second chances, especially if you've seen them in the right direction and the right path consistently i think you know someone deserves that chance um so yeah uh should be very interesting to see if what they do um i don't know if they're gonna bring him into wwe or aew that's 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 a very tough one i don't know where he would fit in better that that should that's a very good conversation to have with mommy and last but not least, good news for WWE backstage interviewer Kathy Kelly as Kelly's moved from SmackDown to Raw. Even better for Kelly, she means that she can be with a BFF for Rhea Ripley as she tweeted, It was a good run SmackDown, but I gotta get to my mommy. Kelly oh also Lord. posted a hilarious TikTok video of her and Rhea's touching reunion, which we recommend you check out. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories. Yeah, of course y'all recommend them to check it out so they can go simp in the comments and say, it should have been me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, this was a very informative, 
very interesting video y'all comment down below let me know how y'all feel about um the whole vince situation now being um something that's being investigated federally like it's now it's become a federal investigation how y'all feel about the the recent news about that also brock lesnar essentially being erased from wwe in all aspects how you feel about that as well but comment down below let me know uh, your opinions on uh, these different stories news stories but i appreciate all your love and support rose on 50k and i'm still getting the speed of youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all in the next one peace